Right, so we've refitted the old screen now, so the new screen's back in its box packaged in here, ready to be sent back. So uh, all we've done is just stripped it straight back out of the computer, it's exactly as it was when we supplied. We've put it back into the original packaging and the original wrapping. And we've refitted the old display on the laptop again. Um, as per the previous little video I made, I still haven't refitted the keyboard and the plastic trim, but everything else is in place. Again, when I press the power button, we are now expecting to see the fault that we had originally, which is what prompted us to buy the new display in the first place. Yeah, so as you can see, the display is all off to the left-hand side of the screen. It stays like that all the way through. It never actually spreads on the right-hand side of the screen at all. So if we just lay it a little while where its uh, counter goes down, it stops normally. Another 20 seconds to go, so it'll just take a little while. Um, so what we're seeing here is the fault that we had on the original display that caused us to, uh, to go out and buy the new one in the first place. So... It would appear fitting the new display and then refitting the old one hasn't changed anything. The laptop is exactly as it was before we started messing on with this. Um, just while we're waiting for that to start up, I'll just note that there is a slight difference between the two displays in that the that different manufacturer names. Again, you can see the problem where the display is all off to the left-hand side. The new display is made by uh, uh, Samsung, I think we said. I'm looking at the label there. Can't see the name. No, we never see Samsung. Can I lift Um, but if we look at the old display, just come around the back where it's so powered up here. Yeah. I don't know if it's possible to see this, but this old one was a Philips display, I believe. The connections on the back are exactly the same, although the two uh, two boards on it are slightly different than one another. If I just slip this one down so you can see what I'm talking about. You see on this one, the connection on the back of the new one here uh, has an IC just to the left of it. The same connection exists on the on the old board, but this one has that that same black IC appears to be off to the right of it rather than to the left. So the the circuit boards aren't quite the same shape, but the cables and connections are all in exactly the same places, which does suggest that it's the correct type of display for the laptop. I assume. Um, I haven't checked part numbers and whatnot, but as I say, because they're different manufacturers, I guess they they may have different numbers on them anyway. Um, so. I've spent the evening pulling the laptop apart and assembling and reassembling. We've come to the conclusion that the new display doesn't seem to be working correctly. And so we're hoping to uh, send it back to you and ask if you can either test or replace. And, and, uh, and we'll have another go at it in the future. Thank you.